have you heard of BMI? You probably have. It stands for Body Mass Index, and it's a calculation that is sometimes used in healthcare settings as an indirect method to determine a person's body weight category. And it's very simple to calculate one's BMI by dividing a person's weight by the square of their height. It's a quick and easy way to categorize someone as underweight, normal weight, overweight, or obese based on their tissue mass and height. But here's the thing: BMI is not the true measurement for obesity. Let me explain with an example. There are two people, person A and person B. Both weigh 75 kilos and their heights are 178 and 182 centimeters respectively. That means person A has a BMI of 23.7 and person B has a BMI of 22.6. Not a lot of difference. Given that a BMI score of 19 to 25 is categorized as healthy, both person A and person B are considered healthy. But this indicator doesn't directly assess body fat, which is an important factor when checking for obesity. And BMI can be influenced by factors such as muscle mass, bone density, and even racial and sexual differences. So here, there could be a possibility where person A could have more body fat than muscle mass, and person B has more muscle mass than body fat. However, essentially, their overall body masses are the same. And if BMI is the test of health, many pro athletes would flunk. Look at Billy Vooney Pola for example. He is a pro rugby player from England. He stands at 188 centimeters tall and weighs 130 kilograms. Therefore, a BMI of 36.8. Now, according to BMI, he would be classified as an obese person. But this is a pro athlete we are talking about. This is because, again, BMI does not distinguish muscle from fat. And that mismatch between BMI and health is true not just for athletes. It's actually a very common occurrence. Research has shown that BMI predicted less than half of people with obesity as predicted by body fat percentage. This means that supplementary measures to BMI should be taken to calculate healthy weight. Therefore, a comprehensive health checkup is required to assess what makes up our whole body mass. So, what are the best ways to measure obesity? There are several methods to measure body fat, each with its own pros and cons. The most accurate measures of the amount and distribution of adipose tissue include Buell Energy X-ray Absorptive or DEXA. These techniques have shown that fat distribution, specifically visceral fat, is a more important predictor than total fat levels. Other methods include waist circumference, skin fold thicknesses, bioelectrical impedance, underwater weighing, and waist to hip ratio measurements. These methods are more sophisticated than BMI and can provide a more accurate measurement of body fat. So while BMI can be a useful tool for screening the general population for potential weight problems, it should not be used as a diagnostic tool on its own. Instead, it should be used in conjunction with other methods to get a more accurate picture of an individual's body fatness and overall health. So next time you hear about BMI, Remember that it's just one piece of the puzzle when it comes to understanding your body weight and health. It is important to talk to your healthcare provider about the best way to measure your body fat and assess your health risks.